Hello friends. Today I want to share another myth. This one comes to us from Norse mythology, specifically from the Prose Edda. And it's a portion of the story that I particularly enjoy because it involves wordplay. Those who've been on the channel for a while know that I am kind of a sucker when it comes to wordplay and dictionaries and such. The specific portion is when Thor and his companions, Loki along with two humans that they picked up along the way, uh, visit Uthgarda Loki, or Loki of the Giants. Well, on their travels, Thor and Loki come across a giant's hall. The hall of Uthgarda Loki. Uthgarda Loki tells them that only masters of their craft may stay within his hall, and so proposes that they prove themselves as masters of a craft. The first challenge goes to Loki. Loki is challenged by one of the giant's retainers to an eating contest. This particular retainer's name is Logi, L-O-G-I. Loki is known for being a big eater and being able to eat considerably more than many of the other gods. But much to his chagrin, he loses. For while he eats all the food presented before him, Logi doesn't stop at just the food. He also then consumes the platter and the utensils, proving that he had the larger appetite. The second challenge was with one of the mortals. Specifically, one who was following Loki. Their name was Skirner. Skirner was well-renowned amongst mortals for being a fast runner. But the retainer who challenged him was Hugi. Spelled H-U-G-I. Try as he might, in three races back-to-back, -back, Skirner lost. And then it came Thor's turn. Utgard Loki, or Loki of the Giants, first proposed the challenge that he must drink all of the fluid in a, a drinking horn. Try as he might. After draining it once, twice, thrice, there was still water inside. Thor failed to drink the entire drinking horn. He was then challenged to a feat of strength. Lift this cat. Try as he might. Thor never succeeded in lifting more than a single paw off the ground. Thirdly, Thor was challenged to a wrestling match by Ellie. Ellie, as a retainer, looked old, withered, thin. But try as he might, Thor could not throw her. In the end, he lost as his knee touched the ground proving Ellie the better wrestler. So where does wordplay come into this myth? All of the names of Utgard Loki's retainers were proper nouns, but not just as a name. They were also objects or concepts. When Loki had his eating contest, who did he actually compete with? Logi means fire. He was not competing against a person. He was competing against the embodiment of fire, which is always hungry. For the second contest, for Skirner in the foot races, Hugi also means thought. Is it possible to outrate thought? Outrace thought? No. So of course he lost. For the drinking horn, it was attached to the ocean. Even the god Thor could not drain the ocean. But he did drink sufficient to cause a low tide. For his other task of lifting the cat, Udgard Loki revealed that he had cast an illusion on the Midgard serpent, also known as Jormungandr. A serpent so large it encircled the earth. Is it any surprise that he could only lift a single paw? for he was not lifting the cat at all. And for the last challenge, his wrestling match with Ellie. Ellie is the personification of old age. 
Even the gods cannot resist the passage of time. Naturally, Udgard Loki, Loki of the Giants, found this quite humorous. He enjoyed pulling one over on Odin's sons. Seeing as they were tricked, Thor, naturally, gets upset and threatens to smash Utgard Loki with his hammer Mjolnir. So, being the consummate trickster and deceiver that he is, Utgard Loki just vanishes along with his hall, leaving Thor, Loki, and their human companions just in the middle of a field. I enjoy these types of tales because it shows you need to think about who you're actually dealing with. I hope you enjoyed the story. I naturally had to modify it a little bit because I don't speak Old Norse, and it's been translated many different times by different people over the years. So there's some natural variation in the story. If you enjoyed this, if you have other myths you'd like me to relate or ones you'd just like to share with me, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I release more content. And until then, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!